Hi there, this is Darren O'Neill from Darren's Tech Tutorials and DarrenO'Neill.eu. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to convert a .pem key to a .ppk key. Um, this is particularly useful if you have machines up in AWS. When you download the key, it comes down as a .pem. And if you're working on Windows, most likely you'll be using PuTTY to connect in. And the .pem format doesn't work with PuTTY. So all we really need to do here is open up a program called PuttyGen that will convert that key to a .ppk for us. I'll leave a link below where you can just download and install PuttyGen. It's a really quick install. So let me just drag this across and I'll show you how to do this now. Okay, so I'm just going to click on load here. And I'm in my AWS keys folder and I'm just going to click to see all files here. And I'm going to load in my key.pem. Okay, and you can see it's been successfully imported here. Now, all I'm going to do here is click Save Private Key. And it says, am I sure I want to save without a passphrase? And I am. And let me just drag this in a bit here. So I'm just going to call it My Key again. And this is going to be MyKey.ppk. And I'll click Save. And we can see it's now being saved. So that's all there really is to it. But let's just double check that that's worked for us now. So I'm going to pull across my standard putty so we can all see it. And I have an IP address for a machine I have in AWS. I want to click on Art here. That's SSH Art. I want to browse. We can see I have my key.ppk here. I'll open it up. I'll click Open again. Let me just drag across this now. So I'll type an EC2 user. I'll hit enter and you can see I've been authenticated to my Amazon uh, Linux box. Um, if you had any difficulty following along, be sure to comment below. And if you found this video useful, please do like and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.